from chinking to restoring the logs on these historic cabins. These days, a few volunteers like Art O'Quinn are doing the work of many. And if we don't preserve things like this cabin, this village here, they're going to miss it. It'll be gone and it will be gone forever. The well-known log cabin village on Quincipi Island was created back in the late 60s when these structures were donated from various area farmers. But over the years, it was left unattended and forgotten. That is until 2007 when the friends of the log cabins stepped in to prevent the loss of this landmark. Over the years, those volunteers have worked to rehab and restore the cabins to their original glory. But in the background, volunteers like John Gebhardt face a Quincy Park Board deadline. We've been given till 2015 to achieve that and make significant progress. And if not, they're going to reevaluate whether or not they want to disassemble the village and then it will be no more. This pile of rock is just one of the reasons why the Friends of the Log Cabins Association needs your help. This used to be the site of the Clatt Adams cabin. Over the years, though, it deteriorated and needed to be taken down. Plans are to put it back up again, but that takes more time, volunteers, and money. The organization hopes to raise awareness and educate families during its fifth annual Frontier Settlement Day Saturday at the Cabin Village. Like anything in your backyard, sometimes you tend to forget about it and you think it's always going to be there. Well, in this case, these cabins need to be maintained yearly so that they will be here for future generations. The hope is these cabins will spark the interest of today's parents and children who will eventually take over the trowel to preserve these cabins for the future. Melissa Shriver, KHQA News, Quincy.